In today's wrap-up, Edmond Marukian, leader of the Bright Armenia faction, the second largest parliamentary opposition party in the country, had a meeting with Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. They discussed snap parliamentary elections, but Marukian told reporters that there is no consensus on the issue as of yet. So far, the prosperous Armenia party, the largest opposition party, has not made its position on elections clear. Marukian stated that when the government meets with the representatives of the prosperous Armenia party, then there will be negotiations again. Marukian concluded that negotiations will continue and that the main disagreement is over the dismissal of the army chief, Onik Gasparian. The Prime Minister does not connect the issue of the Chief of the General Staff with the process of early elections. We connect it because that issue has been added to the crisis in the country, said Marukian. And former Deputy Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces, National Hero of Armenia, Diran Khachatrian, is challenging the President's decree to dismiss him. On February 24th, President Armen Sarkisyan dismissed Khachatrian at the request of the PM. The former deputy chief of the general staff has filed a lawsuit asking to invalidate the decree of the president. And former Armenian prime minister and prime ministerial nominee of the Homeland Salvation Movement, Vazgen Manukyan, has been charged on allegations of overthrowing the constitutional order and calling for the overthrow of the government. He was summoned to the investigative committee for questioning on March 4th. As a precautionary measure, Manukyan signed a document agreeing to not leave the country. Whilst the investigation is ongoing, this was reported by the Public Relations Department of the Investigative Committee. Armenia's second president, Robert Kocharyan, gave a press conference to Russian media outlets. He spoke on a number of issues, including future elections. Kocharyan stated that he is not going to form his own political party, but he also did not rule it out as an option. There will be three political parties that will cooperate with me during the possible elections, he said. Kocharyan had previously stated that he intends to participate in future elections. On the issue of the dismissal of the army chiefs, Kocharyan stated that the government was hindering the restoration of the armed forces and is interfering with military affairs. The ex-president moreover called on current Armenian president Armen Sarkisyan to make a choice between allowing or opposing the government's will. In conclusion, Kocharyan said that $3 billion is needed for the restoration of the army and that Armenia needs to find a formula for integration with Russia that will allow the country to quickly restore the armed forces. And finally, in the latest episode of Insights with Eric Hakopian, Eric speaks on former President Serge Sarkisyan's latest interview with Arm News TV. He spoke about what are the main takeaways from the former leader's answers. 